Hi, this is my Tektronix T922 oscilloscope, dated from 1977, and I'm demonstrating its little triggering problem the uh, best I can. Right now I have it in dual trace mode. I have an audio signal connected to um, the channel 1 input. Uh, audio is coming from the headphone output of a MacBook. It has Audacity on it. I've got it set up to generate a sine wave, specifically a one kilohertz sine wave, um, one volt amplitude. I'm going to go ahead and start it now. Okay, it has stabilized. I can tweak the level control, and it behaves like I would expect. My seconds per division here is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 milliseconds. So that's also making it where I would, I would expect one peak every two divisions. Let me show you what happens. I turn this to one millisecond, and now things go crazy. I'll continue turning it to two milliseconds, five. 10, 20, and 50, and 0.1 seconds, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and I'll turn it back to 0.5 milliseconds. Turn the other way to 0.2 milliseconds, again I get a stable trace, 0.1 milliseconds, again looks perfect, and on higher and higher and higher it goes. So everything is fine as slow as 0.5 milliseconds and things go a little nuts. Now, I will leave it in, let me put it on channel 1, I'll center it. Okay, now we're back in single trace operation. Again, back to 1 millisecond. I turn the if I turn the level control, it never does straighten out. It just acts very strange. It does this thing where it wants to shove the shove the trace over to the right like that. I turn the position knob so you can see there you go. <clears throat> okay, back to 0.5 milliseconds. Again, get my stable trace. I'm going to um, mute the one kilohertz sine wave and unmute the hundred hertz sine wave and get a stable trace like I would expect. There's a level knob for the triggering. Oh, by the way, triggering mode is auto, source internal. Forgot to mention that. Now one millisecond is kind of stable, and so is two milliseconds, 5 milliseconds look stable, 10 milliseconds look stable, 20, 50, 0.1. So it's a little bit frequency dependent as to whether or not it acts strange. So there it is at 0.1 milliseconds, which didn't work with a thousand. I'll switch the waveforms while it's like this. You see? There's the 1 kilohertz sine wave going in. Stop it. 100 kilohertz sine wave going. I'm mean, sorry, 100 hertz sine wave going in, and it looks okay. So I don't understand what's wrong here. Um, turn on both together. Turn the amplitude down now because it's clipping. Clipping pretty badly. Really badly. Actually, I think it can't help but clip right now. 
it's actually clipping in, the, in software, it's not clipping in hardware. Okay, that's a stable trace. Again, the clipping is caused by the software, not the, it's not happening here or in the MacBook output. It's because the amplitude of the two sine waves, sine wave tracks is too high, you sum them together and it's railing up. So anyway, that's my that's my flaky um, flaky triggering situation. Master traces do not have oh no, they're just level control. I don't know if I can do anything about this. I'm trying to find a place where it will give me a single stable trace, but it won't. Another thing I can do that I haven't done here is let me test the channels, the other channel for you, put it in dual trace mode, I'm going to move this beam back down, like that, okay, now I'll change channels on you, one second, there we go, alright, disconnect that, connect it over here, and now, it will not sync up. I don't know if that's normal behavior or not. I don't know if it's expecting to have trigger on channel channel one only. If so, that's fine. So to channel two, I get a stable trace. But oh, and now, now at 0.5 milliseconds, it's okay over here on on channel two, but not at. Um, I'm sorry, I got my scale wrong. Same problem. Going from 0.5 milliseconds to 1 millisecond. 0 0.51, 0 0.51. So the triggering problem is happening irrespective of which channel it's going in. And it will not sync on uh, getting a signal on channel 2 at all in dual trace mode, which I think may be expected behavior. Okay, this concludes the video. Thank you for watching.